الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حبت في الله something as advice that all of us need in order to be better believers in Allah, better Muslims. So I would ask how to become a better Muslim. Comes in a very short hadith, which is from the Jawami' al-Kalam, meaning those, those hadith of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, which were showed his speech that was very concise, full of meaning. That the Prophet Sallallahu was blessed with al jawami a kalam And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was asked by one of his Sahaba Radiallahu Ta'ala Majma'een what is something that I can basically ask only you as far as perfecting one's Islam? You know, I can only get this information from you, something that is unique to help me to be a better slave of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, قُلْ آمَنْتُ بِاللَّهِ ثُمَّ اسْتَقَمْ The Prophet Sallallahu said Say I believe in Allah and then be upright you know be righteous and when we reflect just on that that simple hadith of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that Jawami al kalim that very precise, full of meaning statement, very purposeful statement, we get the best advice because it's prophetic advice, meaning this is something that pleases Allah. This is from the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam who we love and who we follow and who we're ordered to follow. Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala says, Obey Allah and obey His, obey His Messenger. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So because the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has said, believe in Allah, then be righteous. That simply by believing in Allah, and that means Tawheed. That means all the aspects of Tawheed by believing in Allah, not just believing, yes, there's a God, and that's sufficient, but it means believing in all that Islam came with, that, that's Iman. And you have to be from Ahl Iman, from Ahl Tawheed, meaning a Muslim, a Muwahid, that who worships only Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala alone. So that's the first condition, and that's the first piece of advice. So in order to be from those Muwahideen, that requires what? It requires Ilm. It requires that you gain knowledge of what Muwahideen believe. That means you must believe in the Ghaib. Because by believing in Allah, that means you believe everything that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave us. Or everything that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded us with. And He commanded us to obey Him and obey His Messenger. How do you obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? How do you know what to obey from Allah? You obey His commands. You know that from the Qur'an. So that means believing in the Qur'an, practicing the Qur'an, understanding the Qur'an, and all that means, all that comes from what? It comes from ilm, it comes from knowledge of the Qur'an. How can you believe in something you don't know anything about it? You know, you have no information about it. No, 
Instead, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given you those commands to follow. And that's the Quran and the authentic sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Amin tu billahi tu mustaqam. So the second part of that is walking upright or straight, meaning you practice. So you learn and you practice. Best. And that practice, that comes from what? So that even lets us know about amal in general. What are the conditions for, for having our deeds accepted? The amal? Shartain li amal? The two conditions for amal? For having your deeds accepted? Ikhlas, sincerity to Allah. So that, that's the amal to Billah. That's believing in Allah and worshiping Him, and, him alone. And, and, and walking upright is what? It's tatbiq, it's practice of the sunnah of the Prophet wasallam. It's mutaba. So by gaining knowledge of Allah through his Quran, understanding it, reflecting it upon it, practicing it. You know, the Tawheed, Aqidah, the belief, believing in the ghaib. Alif Lam Mim, Dalik al Kitab al Arabafi, Hudun lil Muttaqeen, a guidance for the pious ones. Alladini yu'minun bil ghayb. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then describes the pious ones, those who believe in the ghayb, those who believe in the unseen. So that means we have to believe in the unseen. Is the unseen just everything that we don't see? No, the unseen here is in reference to those things we don't see them, but it's a whole world that's been described. It's a whole set of Belief, which comes from the Book of Allah and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. We never seen the Malaika, but we believe in them. We never seen Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, but we believe in Him to Barakah Wa Taala. We never seen many. We haven't seen the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. We believe in Him. We're told to obey Him and follow His Sunnah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So we believe in the world of the Jinn. I haven't seen any. Not that I was fully aware of. I've seen people possessed on rare occasion. But so the point being, a habitifillah is this will help you. This will perfect your Islam. If you take this as your precedence and not make your Islam so confusing and so difficult and entertaining yourself with so many things which may have very, have very little benefit and very little implications for your Iman and your, your Deen and you keep it simple by gaining the correct Aqidah and practicing calling to it following the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam then you will gain success you will be following that prophetic advice on how to live a fulfilling believing life and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us with ilm al-nafi ruskin tayyib wa amal al wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam